So let's move on to our next example. Uh, in, this, uh, in this problem here, we are given the equation of a sphere, or at least we're told that it's the equation of a sphere, and we want to find the center and radius. Um, now, this is not in the nice standard form here where we can simply just read off the center and the radius. Uh, instead, we have to do a little bit of work, right? And so the work that we need to do first is to complete the square. All right, and we do this one variable at a time. So we look at the x squared plus 2x, and we say, okay, well, again, we take, you know, when you're completing the square, you take half of the, the sort of linear term, and that's going to give you the constant coefficient, right, um, once you square it. So here we would need x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, of course, if we add 1 on one side of the equation, we should also add it on the other side, 2 plus 1. Right? And now when I look at y squared minus 4y, I should do y squared minus 4y. Half of minus 4 is minus 2. If I square that, I get plus 4. If I add 4 on one side, I should add it on the other side. And looking at z, z squared minus 6z, now half of minus 6 is minus 3. Squaring that gives me 9. And I guess I, well, let me just put it here. Could have given myself a little bit more room there, but I think we're okay. All right, so each of these is now a perfect square. So we're going to actually write them as those perfect squares, clean up the other side and see what we get. All right, so x squared plus 2x plus 1. That is x plus 1 squared. This is y minus 2 squared. This is z minus 3 squared. All right, we take half of that term in each case because remember when you sort of foil out a square like this, you always kind of, you get 2 times y and then another 2 times y, right, when you do the cross term. Um, and on the other side, we've got um, 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9. Uh, altogether, that is 16, and 16 is, of course, 4 squared. Okay? All right. Uh, so from here... We can compare to the standard equation. Right now we've got it in that standard form, right? Um, x minus a, y minus b, z minus c. So x plus 1 will us minus minus 1. So the center is going to be minus 1, and then 2, and then 3. The radius is 4, right? And so now if we wanted to, we could use that information to produce a sketch of our sphere, which would look something like this.